Hello everyone, today I would like to share some tips and tricks on how I would improve this photograph. I love this shot of Ella. I love the perspective of being down low. I love all of the wildflowers that are surrounding her as well as the, the sun that is peeking through the trees. I would like to make the color pop a little bit more, especially in these flowers, and I would like to warm her up as well as I would like to replace with a sky up in this left-hand area where we've blown out and have only white sky. I'm starting with the image in develop, so let's go ahead and do an auto on it. From here, I can see that the highlights are making a little bit of vignetting up here, so I'm gonna pull the highlight slider down just a little bit so we can get rid of that. And then I'm gonna pull the structure slider up just a touch to get a little bit of sharpness back in those details. And then I'm gonna grab the temperature slider and I'm gonna warm this up just a little bit. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and go into effects so that we can add some effects to it. In effects, I have the preset browser hidden so I can see this in full screen. So I'm gonna open up the preset browser. I've got a new category called color film. So we're gonna open that up. And I am going to use the Fujifilm Rayola 100. And let's close that back up so we can have a nice full screen. Okay, so looking at this image, it looks like we've got a black and white, a tone enhancer, and a color enhancer. Presets are great, they're a great starting point. I can already tell that I'm gonna wanna make some adjustments to this. And the first thing that I see is in the black and white pane, we've got some uh, grain that's been added. If you turn that off and on, you can see that it's adding a little grain on her face. That's the only thing that it's affecting at this point. Uh, normally a little bit of film grain doesn't bother me. This particular one I think is pulling away since she's so small and there's not a lot in the, of her in this image, I really don't want a bunch of grain on her. So I am going to take the trash can and go ahead and delete that filter out. I'm gonna leave the tone enhancer exactly how it is. So I'm gonna hide that and I'm gonna work on the color enhancer. So if you turn the color enhancer off, you can see how bright and vivid that is. We put it back on and it's muted down the colors. I like the muted in some of the areas, but I definitely want to pull it off of her. So you can see she's kind of got a gray skin tone in here that I'm not a big fan of. I also want to grab some of the flowers and make those colors pop in a little bit as well. So let's grab our masking brush and we're going to mask her back in. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab a few of these flowers. I'm kind of loosely masking here and let's make some of these pop back in a little bit. sure we're nice and good on her. Okay, so let's see, we can see now that we've pulled that back. All right, so from here, let's work on the sky area. So I'm gonna add a filter. I'm gonna grab the textures filter. And in the category section within the textures, I'm gonna switch to natural and you can see that that's got a little thumbnail of the clouds. And in the texture category, there's several clouds to pick from. For this, I'm going to grab the clouds three. You can see, you can't really see the uh, clouds on there and that's because the mode is set to subtle. So we're gonna change the mode to replace. So now we can see the clouds. I'm gonna grab the masking bug for this one. You can see the mask is automatic. I'm gonna go ahead and invert the mask. So now we have just the clouds up in the top area. So we're gonna move this down a little bit. So grab in the big circle, you can move around and then I'm gonna take the smaller circle and I'm gonna rotate it so it's just in that left-hand corner. You can see as I rotate it, it's all the way over here on the right area as well as the sun. So I wanna pull it just above the sun so none of that blue is hinting on there. And then I'm gonna open this up just a little bit and pull it down, there we go. Open this so it's blending a little bit more. All right, and then I'm gonna take that and pull it back just a little bit. It's a little bit too saturated for me, so I'm gonna pull that back down to about a 65. So it looks like it belongs there. And then let's look at the before. And there's our after. So you can see we've got a nice color pop in here. We've added the sky. I think this is a nice finish to this image.